Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from Carlsbad, New Mexico with Damien Schoolman and he has a special treat for us today. Tell me what you've got here. African giant millipedes. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look. So this is the African giant millipede. Start talking. Tell me all about them. They're really big. <laughs> <laughs> They're cool. They're really fascinating. They're they're exceptionally shy. They're blind. They have no eyes. Um, so if they bump into something they aren't really expecting, or if you give them a little touch, they immediately curl up into a defensive position. Um, they're nocturnal. They're most active at night, and they're strictly herbivores. So apples, greens, cucumbers. I feed mine the same mixture I feed my roaches, which is a ground up high quality cat food with oatmeal. And on occasion I'll feed them fish flakes that does not have the color enhancers. And they just go nuts for that stuff. Interesting. This is a proven trio, is it not? Yes, I have witnessed breeding. The big one is, is definitely a female. The other two, I think one's a small female and a small male. And I have witnessed breeding, but I have yet to witness any offspring. I know they need to go through a dry season and a wet season before they'll be tempted to lay eggs. And the young are exceptionally small. So even if they do reproduce, it might be a while before I can even notice them. Do you ever handle them? Mm-hmm. Okay. They secrete a substance that's mildly irritating to people with a more sensitive skin, and it stinks. <laughs> but other than that, I know in uh, Madagascar, the lemurs like to bite them without killing them, but just bite them uh -huh. to irritate them, so they'll secrete the substance, and they lick it off to uh, get high. Very interesting. Lemurs on drug. Are you feeling in the mood to hold an African millipede? Oh yeah, sure. Alright, let's take a look at the large female. They do have a couple thousand legs. They're like handling Velcro. Wow. How do they hunt? Do you have any knowledge of that? They use their antennae as a can see the substance mm -hmm. on my fingertips. Their antennae are uh, chemical receptors, so they can smell the air, and they typically feed on rotting vegetation on the forest floor. They tend to reside right at the edge of the savanna and the forest. You would think you'd find them deeper in the forest, but apparently they like to be right at that edge. Do they mainly eat on um, like dying foliage or green? Do they like fresher things? I In the wild, I can't speak for it. They, they, you know, if you read up on them, they talk about how they eat decaying foliage, but I'm always feeding them fresh fruits and vegetables and they just chow down on it. They have no issues with it. And how do they drink? Do they actually get in the water or do they I think they get most of their moisture from their food. I've never witnessed them going to a water dish. Okay. Though I do keep one in there, right. help with humidity, and if they do want to drink, it's there. Awesome. But I think they get most of their fluids from their food. This is going to sound like a funny question. Which end is the face on? Her head's curled up right okay. here. Okay, that's what I nice thought. Nice and tight where she can protect it. Awesome. Well, I know most people find these quite terrifying, but they're really very gentle. And I just think they're absolutely amazing. And they remind me of something that you would see in a, a period that had living dinosaurs. And right, what's cooler right. than that? Oh, look at her antenna. She's so adorable. Oh, she's precious. Is that not the cutest face you've ever seen? And her feet do feel like Velcro. And she's just sniffing me and checking me out. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, I love her. Maybe I should get some for my classroom. All right, let me know what you guys think about me holding this 
incredibly beautiful millipede. Gosh, she's so amazing. She just looks like a piece of art. Okay, Sophia Martinez, this video is for you. You asked for a tarantula video, but I wanted to do something totally different. So Sophia Martinez is one of my biggest fans. And I love you, Sophia. I'll see you at school.